welcome 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 everybody it is that time where my guests and i talk about the top five anticipated spring 2018 films and i know it's a little bit late we are filming this on january 5th we normally try to film this before the start of the year but scheduling has just been hard nonetheless we are now in 2018. I am 22 Tiger Dude, in case I didn't say my name, this is 22 Tiger Dude here. But of course, before we do get further into the video, let me introduce a couple of my guests joining, starting off with Mr. Hello, everyone. Um, <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, Film Panel 599 here again, and we're back. We're back for uh, another anticipated video. It is the top five most anticipated movies of spring 2018. You know, um, kind, I kind of, I wouldn't say it's dead necessarily, but there isn't as many as like last year with the spring. But we do got, we got some good ones. We got some good ones that look pretty interesting. So yeah, I can't wait to talk about them. And now let's introduce the other fucker. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is me, the Opera Wanderer, bitches! <laughs> I am here, in the hood, tonight, to talk about some, some, some movies. Uh, welcome, Happy New Year, everyone. 2018 is officially on, on its way, and it's exciting shit. So, um, yeah, let's, let's just... Let's just get a roll on with the with this thing I'm a, I'm a bobble. Well, if you're new to this channel, what we normally do is we talk about our honorable mentions first, and then that's when we get into the top five. And as for me, I have only two honorable mentions, so I have technically a top seven for this season. Starting off with my number seven is Early Man, the new Armand Animation Studios film, and I am a fan of their work. It's about these uh, cavemen, so I look forward to seeing how Armand can handle the concept of that. And then number six is going to be A Quiet Place. Wow, did the trailer for this film just blow me away. I don't know how much of the film is going to be quiet, but I know the trailer was definitely very quiet, and it was very interesting how that was executed. So I definitely hope the movie could live up to that very, very interesting teaser. Hello, everyone. All right, so here are my uh, mentions for starting off with The Commuter, Early Man, Love, Simon, the Quiet Place, and Rampage. Those are my honorable mentions. My first, I only have two honorable, men, two honorable mentions. Um, not in any order, but I'm looking forward to more. Um, the first one is A Wrinkle in Time. Yes, I have a Disney movie on my honorable mentions. I know, I know it's surprising. Um, uh, this movie I'm looking forward to because it actually looks like it's actually going to be something different for Disney. I like the cast. I like the visual style of the movie so far. And I'm just very interested in seeing how this film is going to be. You know, see it on the big screen in IMAX, four double D. Um, so, 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 yes, I'm just joking. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just very excited. And then my second honorable mention is a film that uh, I only know a little what's about. I didn't even know this movie existed until I saw The Last Jedi. They showed this trailer, and I was like, oh my god, I need to see this movie right away. And that is A Quiet Place. Um, yeah, this movie looks very interesting, to say the least. Looks very atmospheric and very like eerie. Um, which I like those movies like that, you know, one of my favorites of last year, It Comes at Night. I do love that movie, and this movie looks like it's kind of be, like, similar to that type of, like, Aspen Grant has just, like, a sense of, like, eeriness, and then it builds up throughout the movie with the atmosphere and stuff, and, like, you know, this, like, slow-building story. I'm just, like, you know, just in the trailer, it was very, like, just, it was very creative, and it was different for, like, a mainstream, like, Hollywood-type movie, and I'm just very interested in, you know, seeing how, how this movie is, so, uh, yeah! That was beautiful. Okay. And now we're going to get into our top five. So my number five is going to be the new mutants. This is going to be uh, the first of the X-Men films because we're getting technically three X-Men films in 2018. How insane is that? But this one definitely looks very, very different for an X-Men film. It's going to have more of this horror element to it which is very cool especially for a superhero film we don't really get a lot of superhero films that are in the horror 
um, genre. But this one looks like it's going to really deliver on that. Just the fact uh, that we're going to follow these mutants that are stuck in this facility and we're going to see some pretty freaky stuff happen is what makes me really excited. I really can't wait to see this film. So that is my number five. All right. My number five, my number five might maybe come as a surprise that it's actually on my list for some people, but that is Isle of Dogs. Um, I Now, I will admit, I haven't really seen too many of Wes Anderson's movies, but the one that I have seen is Fantastic Mr. Fox, and that is probably one of my favorite animated movies. I really love the animation style with that. Uh, the voice acting was really great, and I do really think that's really fantastic animated film if up didn't come out that year fantastic mr fox probably would have been my favorite animated film of 2009 and the fact that he's going to do another animated movie has me really excited the trailer was really fantastic i loved how the animation looked in the trailer the story seems really interesting and they got a pretty big cast for this um i know brian cranston is in it uh scott johansson there's just a lot of people in this and i can't wait to see it looks really interesting and yeah definitely looks like a great movie so yeah uh isle of dogs comes as my number five all right so my number five everyone is the black panther movie yes this has been a movie i have been looking forward to ever since phase three was announced this was my most anticipated movie at phase three next to infinity war uh, because this this is this is a character that, that I did enjoy, you know, as someone who is involved with like the hip hop community, like in the black community, I'm into that type of stuff. Uh, this is a very big character, and I know a lot about this character and the fact that like this movie is coming out now and it has like an almost entirely black cast, which is something that I've wanted in a movie of this magnitude for a very long time. And the fact that the soundtrack is gonna have people like Kendrick Lamar and like since that new song that came out was fucking great. Uh, another, you know, big artist and stuff. This, this, this movie is like Diversity, the movie, but it's like a Marvel movie with a really cool superhero in it. Uh, it's just that that's very exciting to me. And uh, I mean, Black Panther is just a cool character in general. I loved him in uh, Civil War. Um, and I really want to, you know, see more of his like, you know, origin explored in this film and like you know the the side effects of his uh father being killed in civil war and like the rage which was you know that was explored in civil war but i want to see more of like the side effects of that and uh how he can grow and mature as a character and i'm just really looking forward to this because you know just I, I like this shit so that is why black Panther is my number five bitches Whoa! all right now we're gonna get into our number four So my number four is going to be Steven Spielberg's Ready Player One. I am very, very excited for this film. Everything regarding the 80s, the fact that they're going to combine that into this film, I think is going to be very cool. Just this world looks so fascinating. That Comic-Con trailer definitely really sold me. I will say the second trailer was, uh, yeah, that, that was not a good trailer. Um, but I will always have the Comic-Con trailer, at least, because um, that one, no matter how many times I watch it, I always still get very hyped for it. I'm just very interested in the concept, and, I'm, and the cast looks great, too. Visually, it just looks very stunning, and the fact that Steven Spielberg is going to take on a video game movie just makes me really, really excited for it. I really want to see this movie as soon as possible, because it just looks like a world I definitely want to be in, and that's why... Ready Player One is my number four. My number four is Pacific Rim Uprising. Um, I am, and there goes Kane LaPlante. And um, uh, everyone knows that. Uh, <laughs> everyone knows I am a huge fan of the original Pacific Rim. I really love that movie a lot. It was everything I could have possibly have wanted to have a monster versus robots movie, and it was great. I had a blast with it. So the, the fact that we're getting a sequel to it seems really interesting. And, you know, it seems like it will just have that exact same fun as the original. And it looks like a blast, honestly. The visual effects look really cool. Um, the action sequences look very interesting. And uh, John Boyega is going to be the main star of this this uh, one this time. And Scott Eastwood is in it, too. So I'm interested to see how they'll work together in the film. 
stuff like that. So, yeah, overall, um, I'm really looking forward to Pacific Rim Uprising. I hope it's just a fun blast. That's all I really want, honestly, with this movie. You know, this ha doesn't have to be the deepest movie ever, as long as, you know, I just have my fun with my robots and my monsters and have some good characters along with it. I'm good. So yeah, my number four is Pacific Rim Uprising. My number four is not Pacific Rim Uprising. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Would you quit taking shots at me, you bitch? <laughs> my number four is The New Mutants, which uh, this movie is very close to beating out in Infinity Wars, my, my most anticipated superhero movie of the year. Uh, I have not seen the trailer for this because I did not want to because I read the plot of this movie, I saw the poster, uh, I've seen images and stills, and I'm sold. Th this because the fact that not only are we gonna be introduced to new mutants and stuff, and like a new like class of like mutants and stuff, which I think is really interesting to begin with. The fact that it's going to be like a psychological horror film, talking about like uh, the side effects of like being in like this like type of like you know environment where like you're trapped and like your salutes colluded from the environment and stuff. And it's like all your personal demons. That's that's what I've heard. I haven't seen the trailer, so I might be a little bit wrong on this. But that that just was like that sounds really interesting to me. Um, it sounds very different for a superhero movie, and we haven't really had in my opinion a movie, a superhero movie, that really tried to focus on the psychological aspects of like our characters since like The Dark Knight. I'd say like this heavily. That's just something that really intrigues me, and I'm really hoping it's uh, well done and stuff. And just the overall just like look and feel this movie for what I have seen looks really dope in my opinion and it just seems like something that i have to see like you know the the big ass you know that imax and stuff you know just to be scared and shitless and crap and i just i'm, re I'm really interested in uh in, in seeing this movie it looks like it's gonna have that type of you know just eerie edge that i like and my type of you know psychological for the horror movies and it just so happens to have uh, x-men mutants in it so that's exciting so that's when the new mutants is my number four All right, so my number three might actually surprise a lot of people. Um, this was a film I've heard about, but I knew literally nothing about. And then the trailer dropped. I clicked on this trailer and I went, yeah, I want to see this movie immediately. And that is Love, Simon. This trailer honestly really took my breath away. Just the concept of this guy played by Nick Robinson. His character is gay, but... He's not sure um, how he's going to tell others because no one knows that he's gay, not even his family. So he's like really lost on what to do. The fact that we have to see um, how he's going to overcome that, I think is going to be just really interesting. And I think it is just something inspiring for the LGBT community in general. Like I'm sure they'll definitely really appreciate it. I just think it looks very well written. The performances look very strong. Jennifer Garner and Josh Duhamel are also in here. I know that girl from 13 Reasons Why is also in here, Catherine Langford, I believe. I honestly just look forward to seeing how they will tell this story. It looks very exciting to me. And uh, that's why I'm. it's actually one of the most anticipated movies for the spring. All right, my number three is The New Mutants. This movie... Kind of, I'm going to be honest, Caden really kind of explained how I feel about this movie going into it. Because we've never really had a whole, like a psychological horror superhero movie before. This is, I like what Fox is doing with their superhero films. They're making it much more different from others. It's going to make the mutants, because it kind of makes them look like freaks. Like treats them like freaks in this. And really dealing with that psychological element and really you know, uh, taking you for a ride and stuff like that. Psychological horror is my favorite type of horror because I like how that does that. My favorite horror film of last year was actually A Cure for Wellness, kind of something that does something like that. And that's the feel I get with this. It looks really intense from the trailer. From what I saw, um, production looks amazing. I love how the directing looks. Like, cinematography seems like it looks um, beautiful and very eerie. It just looks really creepy and really great, honestly. I love the cast that they got in here. They got Anna Taylor Joy, Maisie Williams, um, the one dude from Stranger Things. I forgot what his name was, but I like him a lot as an actor. So I can't wait to see what they can do with this movie. That's what has me intrigued out of anything for this. So, yeah, my number three is New Mutants. All righty. <clears throat> now we're going to get into the top Two, so uh, 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 Tony, Caden, 
<laughs> oh! <laughs> Don't you be going be like Kevin right now? Oh my god, I am so really? <laughs> god oh my damn god. it. Oh my god. Oh my god, I am so sorry. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a moment, you know, I you, 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 you gotta, you know, yeah, recover, you know, from that. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. Uh, that, that was my bad. Go ahead. It, it, it is okay. Pulling the Kevin. Yeah, you, you're pulling that Kevin. It isn't even here. All right. Okay. So my number three is the new uh, Steven Soderbergh movie, Unsane. Uh, I, I know some people aren't really interested in this guy right now because apparently Logan Lucky wasn't good. I haven't seen that, uh, so I can't really say if that's good or not. But I do think he is a really great director, Steven Soderbergh. And this movie was shot on an iPhone, I believe. And it oh, is really? about a, it's about a woman who has like a really deep fear, apparently, and like she's checked into like a mental in institution to see if it's like a real fear or not. I'm not sure, but it sounds interesting. Uh, it's shot on an iPhone by a really great director. It's going to be at film festivals, I believe, and I'm just, because of that, it sounds interesting enough to me, because, you know, I just, I'm, I've always been more interested in these type of movies, more than, like, you know, comic book, you know, mainstream type Hollywood movies, which, you know, this, it's not like a, like a diss to those movies, because I do enjoy those movies, but I'm just more interested in these type of movies, and this sounds kind of different, you know, in a technical type aspect, and, uh, you know, has great talent behind it, so that's why I'm really looking forward to this movie, that's why it's my number three, so I, yeah, yeah bitch, nice. Okay, now Tony, we right. get to top two. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, everybody. Now here is my number two. So my number two is Wes Anderson's Isle of Dogs. The more I watch this trailer, the more I just want to see it. Fantastic Mr. Fox. That was a very very well done Wes Anderson film. Like what Wes Anderson did with that film was just uh, truly uh, breathtaking. And the fact that he's going to do a second animated film in his filmography is amazing just because, you know, one, animation is obviously my favorite genre. And two, just because it's a Wes Anderson film. And I am myself a, a fan of Wes Anderson. I, there's still a few of his movies I have to see, but I've seen at least the majority of his films and then in his filmography it definitely looks really bizarre it looks strange but it's like the good kind of strange not to mention you know even though it's kind of obvious but the animation oh my goodness i i'm sure it took a, a long time because wow the animation looks absolutely gorgeous i really cannot wait for this film it uh, it's just one of the most anticipated movies in general for 2018 and that's why it's my number two all right, my number two is Black Panther. I've always wanted to see Black Panther turned into a movie because I've always been interested in his character ever since I saw him as a kid and like all the comic books and stuff. And he is quite an interesting character. And when we saw him in Civil War, I loved him in Civil War. He was like one of my favorite characters in that entire film. So I was obviously really excited even more to see a solo movie and you know it looks really great like i love the atmosphere of wakanda that looks amazing i love how they got the atmosphere of wakanda and stuff like that it looks really great um you know i really liked a lot of the action the trailer looks really exciting the story seems really interesting i love the cast that they got in here um, you know, a lot of great actors like, you know, Michael B. Jordan. Uh, they got Forrest Whitaker. So they've got a really great cast in here as well. So, yeah, I can't wait to see what they do with um, Black Panther's story and really kind of exploring a little bit more of his origin, stuff like that. So, yeah, I can't wait for Black Panther. And also the fact that we're going to have a soundtrack from uh, Kendrick Lamar. That's going to be quite exciting as well. So, yeah, Black Panther, number two. My number two is a movie. That um, I I don't know much about this movie, but my number two is the new Alex Garland movie, uh, Annihilation. Uh, this movie sounds extremely weird, but like in a good way. Like from what I've read, apparently this movie has like people can turn to like pools and stuff, and like biologists like trying to find this some like something about nature and they can't control it. And there's like I think people who like or like trees or something I, I don't fucking know it sounds weird as hell but like i've heard a lot of great buzz for this movie uh great talent behind it you know alex garland directed ex machina one of the uh best movies i've heard of the decade and um 
yeah, I'm just uh, this movie just sounds really, really interesting and very different, and that really excites me because I like movies like that. So that is why it is my number two. Now we're going to get into my number one. And uh, number one, I don't think it should really come as a surprise that it is indeed Black Panther. Oh, yes. Bring on Black Panther. I am so, so excited for this film. And it's coming out in February, so the wait isn't that much longer, thankfully. Black Panther was definitely one of the best things about Captain America Civil War. A movie I just loved in general, but definitely just one of the absolute highlights in that film was Captain America Civil War. He was just such an interesting character. I just loved his introduction and Chadwick Boseman really did such an incredible job with that character. So the fact that he's getting his own movie and they're gonna explore more of this character just really, really excites me. And the fact that we're gonna see Wakanda, just see the big scope of it. Just for what I see in the trailers alone, Wakanda just looks like such a beautiful place. And I'm just very excited for the storyline in general. And obviously the cast looks great, like Chadwick Boseman, obviously, and you got Lupita Nyong'o, and then Andy Serkis from Avengers Age of Ultron, one of Caden's favorites I know, is back here in Black Panther. <laughs> and yeah, everyone else that's in this film just looks really fantastic. Oh yeah, and of course Michael B. Jordan as the antagonist, I can't forget about him. He looks great here. And Ryan Coogler, who's directed Fruitvale Station, a fantastic film, and Creed, a pretty good film. I can't wait to see how he directs Black Panther. It's definitely my most anticipated of the spring. Definitely just one of my most anticipated movies of 2018, like with all these other films. And that is why Black Panther uh, takes the number one spot for me. My number one most anticipated movie of spring 2018 is Ready Player One. Um, Ready Player One is a movie that I've had interest. I never read the book, but ever since I heard the concept of it and I heard Steven Spielberg was directing it, I was immediately hooked and interested to see where they could go with, with this concept. And then I saw the Comic-Con trailer. I loved that. Had a nice uh, atmospheric look with like this world of the Oasis and stuff like that. And it just was great. Like I loved it. And then that second trailer came along and honestly, I it just got even more excited for the movie. I cannot wait to explore this world of all these like you know uh, pop culture characters and stuff like that and how they're elevating them into this movie. It just looks really amazing. And it just looks great. The visual effects look fantastic. What's the uh, lead, uh, lead dude's name? Um, Ty Sheridan. Ty, Ty Sheridan. Yes, Ty Sheridan. Ty Sheridan. Yeah, um, I really like him as an actor. I can't wait to see what he does in the film. Ben Milson, I believe that's his, uh, Ben. No, Ben McKenzie. That's his name. Um, he plays the. He's gonna play the antagonist. I can't wait to see what he does because he's always great. So yeah, and of course Steven Spielberg, my all-time favorite director, is directing this film, and I can't wait to see how he's gonna bring this world to life. Like I saw this trailer before Star Wars, and I just can't wait to witness this on the big screen. It looks amazing and there's no other movie in the springtime that i'm more excited for than ready ready player one all right everyone i think I, I think i might have an idea what your number one is uh kaden but go ahead good sir i'm pretty sure everyone knows what it is i mean everyone this is the only movie in the springtime winter time that matters isle of fucking dogs it's the, it's the only movie that matters bitches all right <laughs> look look everyone okay look if you don't know me i have a a very uh, fond liking of this guy named Wes Anderson. He makes probably the most creative movies that I have seen all, uh, all this this whole decade, century. You want to see it? They are just he takes these really simple concepts and makes them extremely different in a very unique way, with a unique style that a lot of directors aren't able to accomplish. You know, because like, you look back on like you know contemporary, you know, like Hollywood and all these like movies and stuff. These like these waves of cinema. Like you look at like certain directors. I guess you could say like you know. Godard had his own style, and you know, all these other directors, you know, which is, you know, it's very rare to come by. But people have their own unique style, and Wes Anderson is one of those directors. And he, and he, he, every single movie he made, he's made, he just he he has these, these such simple ideas and makes them so big in his own like type of weird scope and stuff. And they just they just work so well. And I've been looking for this movie for a long time since Fantastic Mr. Fox is maybe my favorite animated movie. I'm not sure about that, but I do love that movie quite a lot. The fact that we're finally getting another movie of that type of style, 
uh, like, uh, you know, like uh, with Isle of Dogs uh, excites me in that. And then the, 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 the story to this movie about how in Japan there's like a, a canine flu. <laughs> so they decide, you know, we're just going to send all these dogs to an island. Uh, and then there's like a, this little boy and just, I, I don't know. It just, it just looks very Wes Anderson-y. The, the thing that really has always impressed me with Wes Anderson is that his movies, I do feel, have a type of formula to them where they start off like kind of like very lighthearted, very like development, like I'm always developing the story and the world planning and they get kind of dark. But he's always able to have a unique twist to it. So that's really excites me about his movies. And uh, this one looks no different. I love the animation style. I love just the, the color palette. It's very kind of grim and stuff. I love the, the whole designs of like, you know, these like, you know, dogs and they can like talk, I guess. I, I don't know. It just, it, it, it just looks like a film that I'm going to have a really good time with. It's only my most anticipated uh, movie for this, you know, season of, of the year. And one of the most anticipated in general. So yeah, that is why it is my number one. There you go. That is our top five anticipated movies for spring 2018. Uh, it's always a lot of fun doing these videos, especially with my guests. And you guys, uh, comment down below. Let me know what are your top five anticipated movies for spring 2018. And of course, before I do wrap up this video, I would just like to say uh, thank you, film fan, for joining. And where can these people find you? You can find me on YouTube, Film Fan 0599, uh, Twitter Fan Fan 0599, all that good jazz and shit. So, yeah, thank you for uh, having me on, Tony. And this was another great anticipated video. You can, you can find me on my YouTube channel where I upload very interesting music. And uh, I, I am planning on returning at some point in January. I'm not sure when. And uh, Happy New Year. And so, of course, you guys, this is 20 to Tire Dude here with Film Fan and Auburn. And don't forget that the three of us will always have. Tiger Power! <laughs>